Hello everyone, this is Nikita and thank you for joining me in this video. So this video we will be talking about access roles and access group in Pega. So basically how do we get access to an application in Pega? So that's the main topic of today's uh, discussion, today's video. So uh, without wasting any time, uh, let's see what we would be covering in this particular video. Okay, so the first thing we would cover is what is an authentication and authorization, the difference between them and what are we talking about today. Okay, uh, the next thing is what is an access group, uh, how, access group basically uh, when we try to get access to an application, it is done through an access group. So there are a few things about access group which we should know. And then we would discuss uh, about the different things, uh, different uh, configurations we have in the access group, uh, which helps uh, in get giving access to specific thing throughout the application. Uh, so we will also discuss about access rule to object that is ARO and access deny uh, through which we deny any access to an application. So all these things we would be covering as well. So let's directly jump to the application and let's start by first checking where do we get the access group. So go to the records and then we would search on the security. Security will have several different kind of rules but today first we would discuss about access group. So here you would see there is an access group it would list out all the access group in the application. So let's go here and we would be covering or we would be looking at the one particular access group today. So let's take any one of it, like let's take this access group. First, let's see what are the different things uh, we have in the access group. First and foremost is access group uh, gives access to an application. So it should have the application name configured in here and then the version of the application. As you might have understood that there is option of only one application in this uh, access group. So access group is one to one mapping between uh, access group and the application. Okay, so one access group gives access to one application only. So that's the main point and also the version, right? So you cannot have multiple version access at a time. You can have only one version of the application access at uh, the same time. For you to have access to different version of the application, you should have different access groups in your operator. Okay, uh, so that's one thing. First of all, where do we actually set the access group? Okay, so access group uh, is set on the operator level. Okay, let's discuss about uh, authentication and authorization first. So authentication uh, is done when you give your login ID and password to any application. They would check their database and see if your operator ID and password combination exist in their database or not. If not, they will tell you that you, you are not authenticated uh, to access my application. Okay, so that's where the authentication uh, takes part. But uh, coming to authorization, it's basically it's the next part uh, after authentication. After you're authenticated to the application, you might be able to do certain different tasks or you might have access to certain things in the application. So that's where authorization comes into picture. So we would be dealing with only authorization in this video because access group is all about authorization. Okay, so first let's go to my operator. Okay, so this operator will give uh, all the access group would be listed out here in the right side. So you could see that there are uh, like several different access groups which is mapped to my operator ID. So that, that's how it's done. So I basically have access to these different applications. That's why I have different access groups as well. Right, and now let's talk about the access group. This is one of the access group where I mentioned that we will have the application name and the version of the application as well. Uh, after that, there would be different portals where uh, I would have access to or I would uh, be able to see that, okay? When I launch portal, I should be able to see the different uh, portals in my application. 
then there are different uh, some portals you can access from here like you can see the dev studio and then there are prediction studio admin studio app studio all these are also part of my uh, you know uh, access group so i am able to see all of this now coming to the uh, different available roles or you can say these as access role to object so what are these these basically uh, give you the access uh, you know a separate access for each case type suppose i want to i uh, want this access group to only create a specific type of uh, case not all in my application then i would have to give the access inside this particular access role to object so you can see it's an access role name where you would specify the different uh, class names and the different type of uh, access you want to give right so you can see in this one we see that access class is a interview class okay it's one of the case type in my application uh, let's click on this and see yeah so you have different controls in here uh suppose i want my uh, user or whoever has access to this application to read instance but not to write instance so basically if i am giving 5 to the read instance that means uh, it has access to uh, read the instance of my application of my uh, case basically because we are talking about the interview class now right but right i have not given any access so it's enter zero to prohibit all access so it does not have access to anything similarly you can provide anything here uh, you know zero five whatever you want it to be do, uh, done right so similarly you have uh, something for rules then you have something for reports activities then there is something called privileges uh, this privileges can also be specified inside the different uh, you know classes so suppose you want the only uh, that uh, the access group which has this privilege to run your application to run your case type so you can specify that there as well okay now coming uh, to what is this manage dependent role so basically um, you you see that there is only one uh, aro that i have given in this particular uh, rule form what about the other you know the base class related rules or uh, some work dash class related rule that are the out of the box you know uh, provided by pega some of the rules which are embedded inside that that also has to be executed by the user right it must be done like it will not be visible to you it would be done underneath it would be called underneath but still the user should have access to all those rules as well so who gives access to that rule for that we provide this dependent role basically this is the role which you will always have this is a dependent role okay whatever access is uh, given in here in this particular uh access role name all of these would be inherited by it by this particular access role okay and uh, after this if you want to add something else related to your application you can add in here okay so that's about the access role name um uh, now next let's see what else do we have in this access group okay we discussed about this aro right already now coming to the advanced tab so you see there is something called work pool what is a work pool um work pool is nothing but a class group where where you have all the um case type data stored in okay so uh, you can provide the work pool uh, in the access group so that that particular a uh, user would have access to create any case types that are there in this work pool okay so if you don't specify uh, anything in here you will not be able to create the case okay uh, so let's discuss uh, first everything then we would go for a demo so now what is the access control access control is basically 
you you need to give some time out after this particular time period whatever you specify uh, you will have to log in again the user will have to log in again he will have to reauthenticate himself or herself so that's what access control authentication time out is now coming to this what is a production rule set or uh, you see in this access group so the production rules that we also specify in the application rule also right so if you go to any application rule there would be an option to specify the production rule set right here but why do we need to specify in the access group also so basically all the production rule set has to be specified in this particular application rule but additionally whoever whichever access group need to have the access to that production rule set due to delegated rules or anything he needs to specify it in here also for it to be able to do any changes in production what else uh, operator tab operator tab uh, signifies or it uh, lists out all the operators who has access to this particular or all all the operator who has this access group in its operator uh, rule okay so that's it i think access group was all about this but let's go to the demo first and uh, let's see uh, suppose okay xyz bank authors uh, suppose i want to check this particular okay so it shows that i can read but i cannot write instance that means i cannot create any case type in the interview case but i can read that instance let's try this what i will do is i will see for, first i have to default it to my access group right currently my operator is uh, in hr apps as a default user as a default uh, access group but um, let's switch it to xyz okay now uh, go to the case type i try to create a case in here okay either you can create form here or let's do it from here as well okay there's a plus sign in here okay so this is the interview case which i have to create let's see if the interview case gets created no you see there is a problem here you are not authorized to create modify or lock instance so it's not allowing me to create any instance okay so sorry i cannot do it but what about the other cases which i had in my application can i open them so basically i have to check if i have any interview case right there is one interview case which is i1002 let me see if i am able to open this okay so it's allowing me to open the reason being i have met the read instance as 5 i have given the number as 5 that means i have access to read the ap application or the case type instance of interview but i cannot create or modify anything in the uh, application so if i try to uh, you know click on the go uh, it will give me some error okay uh, so it's not allowing me to do it uh, what else do we need to know is let's try to create a access deny rule
okay okay i have to give it some access role name okay let's first create that access role name Now, what is access deny? It's it's just the opposite of access role. Basically, if you give a uh, five year, that means you are denying the access to that uh, case. Okay, it's just the opposite of uh, access role to object. So uh, let me do something like I don't want the op instance to be open at all. Okay, let's do that. Okay, um, now going to that particular access role name if you check out and if yeah, you, you are able to see already, right? So that is added in here. Now let's check my access group which has this ARO and uh, I want to, I wanted to add the ADO as well or access deny, right? So let me add that access deny AR in here okay so now i have two uh two arn or access role name one has a aro and one has a access deny okay but i want the access deny to take precedence okay so let me open the access role to object uh, arn and i want to give the full access here uh, i want to write as also five okay so now what i did was i gave the whole access in here Okay. Now let me submit. So basically, uh, ARO is giving full access, but access deny does not want to give the full access. That's what I have done here. So let me see if that happened, uh, you know, if that worked. So if I'm here, I want to create an interview case. So you see here, you are not authorized to open. So this particular one is not access rule to object. This is the access deny. It is denying me the access. Okay. So that's about the, the access rule to object. Uh, that's all about this video. I hope you like this video and I would see you again in my next video. Till then, see ya. Bye-bye.